It's a beautiful day Just give me a smile Praise the Lord, praise the living Jesus Thank you again for tuning in on to Am for Christ Gospel Messages I hope you are doing well and let me just ask the direct question how are you doing today uh please put your comment down below let me hear how you are doing but god bless you i hope you're doing well I hope your family is doing well uh pray may the lord visit every one of us and transform our lives uh by the power of his word in jesus name let's pray our heavenly father we thank you for another privilege i pray that even as we go into your word you will speak to us you will speak to us you interpret your word to us. You put your fear in our hearts, in our lives. And we will have reverence for you to eternity. Even with our children and generations, with our spouse and families. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Today we're going into the word that is titled, the message titled, The Fear of God. The Fear of God. And the book of Psalm 103 from verse 13. Actually, verse 13, 17, and 18. That's where I'm going to just be picking out the point from. Uh, book of Psalm 103, verse 13 says, as a father pities his children, so the Lord pities those who fear him. Actually, let me just read through verse 14. For he knows our frame, he remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass. As a flower of the field, so he flourishes. For the wind passes over it, and it go, and it is gone, and its place remembers it no more. Verse 17, But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear Him, and His righteousness to children, children, to, to such as keep His covenant, and to those who remember his covenant to do them. When we have the fear of God, when we have reverence for God, when we have respect for God, we tend to remember his instruction. We are consigned, we are deliberately and, and focused on his instruction, very deliberate and consigned that we don't want to displease him, we don't want to disobey him. We are conscious about our decisions, our, our, our choices that around him, around his instructions, around his commandments. Because we have reverence for him, we have respect for him, we have love for him, and we don't want to displace our God. Praise the Lord. And the Bible is making us to understand that, and now this man, verse 13, that this man who asks fear for God, verse 17 actually, but the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him, on those who have that reverence for him, who respect him. The, the, the mercy of the Lord is available. God shows, he extends his mercy. Even when we don't qualify. Ah, ah, hey, even at the time of Moses, when Satan was kind of raising accusation that, ah, no, this man died in sin, in disobedience, in anger. It, it was accusation. But the, the Bible made us to understand God showed his mercy, extended his mercies, that yes, how we have mercy on whom are we have mercy upon. Yes, we might not actually qualify for that mercy. We might have done something so terrible that Satan has raised accusation that ah, people have swear, are ready to stand against us that yes you have uh, you are actually guilty of this but when the mercy of the Lord manifests it overrides our errors it overrides our mistakes it overrides our wrong actions and God rescues us as if we have never done something wrong God now begins to manifest in a glorious way in our lives as if we have never offended him as if we have never we have never displeased him before just because we have the fear of God parallel to that incident just because we have reverence for him just because we love him just because we we we, we are conscious that we don't want to displease him 
And now that unfortunately, uh, uh, he, he on our we 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 displace him. God extends his message. Okay, son, daughter, I'm showing you mercy. Come back to me. I've forgiven you. Let's let's let, let's let's work together again. Let's do something. Let, let's do something great again. And the Lord continues to manifest through your life in a miraculous and in a wonderful ways to the glory of His holy name. May the Lord, may the Lord be glorified. So let's 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 have that reverence and respect for God. Another thing, another blessing of being having the fear of God is that God's mercy and His righteousness is is being extended even to our own generations. Verse seventeen. But the mercy of God is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear Him. And his children, oh, and his righteousness to children's children, and his righteousness to children's to children, to such as keep his covenant, and to those who remember to his commandment to, to do them. When we are conscious, when we have that reverence, we are also conscious to keep his covenant, to keep his commandment, and to do them. The mercies of God is being extended upon us, even upon our generations to come. So let's fill in the gap today. Yes, you might have not gotten your children yet, but fill in the gap now. You might have gotten your own children now. Fill in the gap. Have the fear of God, reverence for God, respect for God, honor and be obedient to God. Love God. Even as the Lord Jesus Christ taught us in the book of Mark, it says, And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strengths. Let's love God and the mercy of God, His righteousness, His goodness, His favor will be extended upon us even to our generations to come. The fear of God. I pray may the Lord, may the Lord, may the Lord fill us with his fear. May we, may we have respect for God. May we love God wholeheartedly. And may we keep the commandment of God by his strength and divine grace to eternity. Honoring and glorifying his name here on earth to eternity. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God bless you for your time and your attention. This remains, I'm for Christ's gospel messages. I-F-C-G-M. I'm for Christ Gospel Messages. Take care right now. See you next time. God bless you. It's a beautiful day. Just give me a smile. And give me the best. Because it's a beautiful day.